I think it's time for a little digital minimalism check-in. So I've been on vacation for about three weeks in Florida to visit family and I have a week left, but I would like to check in and give you some insights on how I've been dealing with digital minimalism, the devices I've had difficulty with, and maybe some new devices that I may have acquired. So when I decided to travel, I decided to take two phones with me. I chose my Cat S22 Flip. This was going to be my dumb phone for the journey slash dumbed down smartphone. And I was really planning it to use it every day and it didn't work out. First difficulty for me was traveling. I tried to use my Cat S22 Flip as the phone for checking in at the airport and using my apps at the airport, Google Maps and all of this, and it was terrible. It was really hard to choose my seats with the app. I couldn't see anything. I had to zoom in and it wasn't as user friendly as I had anticipated. And I was really struggling to see and I was stressed with traveling and it really wasn't the device that I wanted to have traveling. I had to make do with it and yeah. If I had to travel again, I would never take this device. Another issue I had was actually with my French phone carrier. I had purchased an extra feature to be able to use my phone number in the US and use the data plan. But unfortunately they saw my traveling as suspicious activity and suspended my line. I'm still in the process of trying to reconnect it. I gave up after a few days of trying and I purchased a local eSIM card. But unfortunately the Cat S22 Flip does not have eSIM capability. So I had to use my Google Pixel 8. I primarily use my Google Pixel 8 for B-roll footage for my YouTube channel and I had to readapt it as a phone. So I used it just for communication, photos and checking my email and that's it. I haven't used it for entertainment and honestly, I've been surprised with myself. I didn't download any additional applications. I didn't find myself doom scrolling or picking up my device when I'm bored or anxious. So this is a huge progress for me. It's almost been a year since I started my digital minimalism journey and I'm really proud of myself for being able to handle a smartphone without being super addicted to it. Now, this is not to say that I won't fall back into old habits when I'm not on vacation. I'm very aware that I've done that before and I'm going to be hyper aware of it when I return to my normal routine at home. I did make a couple purchases while I was here for devices because not only am I addicted to smartphones, but I'm also just addicted to technology in general and I can't resist it. I did purchase another phone. I purchased a smartphone, but a smart flip phone. I did like the Cat S22 flip phone for the flip phone feature. I liked being able to hide the screen from myself and I found that this was quite useful. I think when I have a device and the screen is facing up, I'm just tempted to look at it. And so I bought a 2023 Motorola Razr. I got the pink one, of course, because I'm tired of looking at the black Cat S22 flip and I got it used I got it for a very good price and I would have purchased it otherwise to be honest, but I really wanted to test it compared to my original Motorola Razr because I really love that device. I really love flip phones in general, old flip phones, new flip phones, and I really wanted to give it a try for the newer ones that are full screen and see if the phone is possible to use as a digital minimalist device. Of course, I'm going to add a custom launcher, remove unnecessary apps, and dumb it down as much as possible for myself. And I wanna see how it goes because unfortunately the Cat S22 is not for me. As somebody who is very visually impaired, I have autosomal dominant optic atrophy and I'm legally blind. And that device, although the buttons were very accessible, the screen itself was not accessible enough for my use case. Now, besides getting a new phone, which is kind of predictable in my case, I also got a new watch. I stopped using my Apple Watch a few months back and there has been one feature that I've missed greatly and that was the steps counter. I tried to combat this by using a pedometer as well as using the steps counter on my phone. The downside was that I was losing my pedometer all the time. I left it in a pants pocket, it got washed. It wasn't really convenient. 
With having the steps counter on my phone, this meant that I needed to have my phone on me all the time. And as somebody who's trying to reduce the phone usage and not have a phone on me all the time, I didn't want to have it. So I decided to get another Casio because I am very brand loyal and I got a Casio with a steps tracker. I don't remember the exact model, but I'll put it on the screen. And this watch has been great. I can keep track of my physical activity to the point where it's healthy for me. Um, when I had my Apple Watch, I became addicted to that as well as far as completing my fitness every day, going above and beyond and trying to get all the challenges possible. It wasn't a healthy relationship with me and my watch. I just really wanted a watch for time. And honestly, having a steps counter keeps me on track for where I want to be in my health journey as well without being obsessive about it. Um, this watch, yes, is not the most aesthetic watch in the world, but as somebody who is very visually impaired, this watch is easy for me to see. It has a light and I have no complaints. The steps have been accurate and yeah, it's a great addition to my digital minimalism lifestyle. One last thing that I got was actually a microphone and this is to help improve the quality of my videos. It's not really to do with digital minimalism, but it helps me carry less equipment with me as I'm going around. I'm going to try to take my camera out with me more, maybe potentially vlog or I don't know, just be more mobile with my camera. Again, I do have difficulty walking out in public. I am visually impaired and I'm going to try to be mindful when recording. Um, I don't want to record in stores or public locations because that just makes me uncomfortable and I have difficulty seeing enough as it is. So I'm not going to walk around the camera, but I would like to record outside, maybe in parks or on walks that I am comfortable with at least. And yeah, be able to get out and about a bit more. As you notice, my backgrounds change every video now since I have been on vacation. I have recorded in the living room, mostly in the bathroom. I tried to get out of the bathroom, but it has the best lighting to be fair. And now I'm in the living room slash dining room area of my parents' house. I mean, I think every video probably will have a different background for the foreseeable future for at least the next week or so. But thank you so much for watching and see you soon.